ladies and gentlemen, the BMS here, and welcome to my new episode of View Truck Simulator. And today's topic is the 1.23 Beatra. Uh, so, what's in new in this, and what features this uh, coming up this episode? So now here we are. The most uh, one of the main important things of the 1.23 Beatra is upgrade shop. And you go to the here and rims. Oh my God, I, I love it. So, you can change uh, as the try configure accessories, it's usual, but now the rims. You can change, you see, you got three options here. So, you can change what kind of bolts you want. Nuts, sorry. Then, you can change what kind of you want here, this hub gap. And what do you want? The original Mercedes, finally! Oh dear, I'm waiting this so long I can't express my feelings. Now we got this half cap Mercedes. Uh, wait. Maybe the chromes are even better. I don't know, I like the steel ones. But the main thing is now to go to the standard one, standard alloy, or standard gloss. Oh, we got one. Ow! Oh, now you see. We got some new options here as well. I haven't actually checked it out. I'm so excited. Yeah, the Cyrus. I love this one. This is the proper Mercedes wheel setup. So let's get now in the back as well. Uh, let me see. Let's leave it in standard. Then put steel. Because I like the steel ones. Leave the cup cap here. And let's see. Pacific. Corn. Red color. Uh, let me see. Wait a second. Let me see. Standard, standard gloss. Dark silver. Okay. So, they changed this and I really like it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let me check now. Uh, it's a little bit hard. First, because they're so small to click. Okay. Mm, what we got here? We got Sir Cyrus. Yeah, I think this is the one of the best options in the Mercedes. Uh, you can argue with it because many people argue with the wheels. So, that's the one thing. Uh, but now, let's just keep on going. Put the lights on, it's dark early morning here. So, and let's talk ab about other things as well. So, currently... Uh, let's just check the wheels a lot. Really, this is just a new experience. Yeah, and it comes out for American Truck Simulator. You need to just wait a few, few minutes. Not few, a little bit more. So, the next... The major upgrade of this... Uh, uh, this 1.223... What is coming out is the Ste uh, Steam Workshop. Oh, yeah. I'm a little bit confused. No, yeah. Uh, Steam Workshop. So, uh, quite a lot of games have Steam Workshop now. But, uh, but finally, the Euro Truck has. So, for mod mods, everything is much lot simpler to get someone. And if you're new to mod new to this game even it makes life a lot of easier if you want to find some great mods so that's that so uh, th there are some <laughs> uh, more things here we have to go oh, there uh, the UI then uh, let's talk here traffic offense can be disabled it's an option navigator path red line can be disabled is an option again oh yeah brakes Right. Option to keep the root advisor hidden while getting new uh, uh, notification. That's uh, quite what I like. Auto park feature can be disabled. Uh, so again, okay, I like it. It's option. It's really simple to park things. Uh, speeding highlight on root advisor. I haven't really click, uh, get those uh, tested out, but I will be doing it. So, vehicles, a little bit talking about vehicles as well, while cruising here. Smart cruise control can uh, can use activated engine brake when uh, no retarder is present. 
So with uh, with a beginner, it's great thing way to not get speeding tickets. Uh, uh, advanced uh, shifting simulation. We shift the layouts for Scania, Volvo, and ZF. What the heck is ZF? Really? Plocop place? You So, uh, so, uh, okay. ZF. To, uh, now listen more. To activate them, you need to use new profile or remove your custom edge uh, shift the layers. So you really, if you want this, then read the se uh, settings quite carefully. So more we have improved truck stability during retarder usage. Okay, I'll really, I just go speed up. Let's m make it edgy and put the retarder to full maximum. Okay, now it's more better. I love, I like this one. So what's the other thing is the AI improvements because the AI still do uh, stupid uh, things but uh, and the uh, traffic offense costs scale by player level so uh, this is great for beginners again and it's not great for me whose level I know 50 in this uh, so it's uh, this and that but uh, okay so one thing what I have to tell you is if you are an American truck simulator player, actually I am as well, but the EU truck things have gone a little bit uh, earlier out to test them and for users as, as I am. Uh, the thing with this is that the American truck simulator has as well, but you have to wait for it. The wheel thing will come as well in American Truck Simulator, you can have to wait for it. So two things, really, the American Truck Simulator, I want to have told it in this video before and until now, you have, please wait when the American Truck Simulator. So, but if you have the American Truck Simulator and the Euro Truck, then it's perfect time to test those things out in Euro Truck. Really, one of the best ways to do it. So one thing what I want to show you now, and if you go to gameplay settings, then you have here traffic offense, tick or not, and you have uh, automatic parking, dialogue, you can tick it over again, and keep root advisor hidden. You can tick this one as well, but I like this because it goes sometimes. So now, this is this kind of end of this episode now is this that uh, the updates what have came here in this game the smaller ones the steam version is a great update the rims really really love it and the small ticks as well like the root advisor the traffic offense really great things to have and i love this one so uh, if you are uh, asking me if you are really should i uh, should i put this beta on my game or not i'll say yes Put it if you want really it doesn't for me i don't get crashes at the game and stuff and uh, yeah and this uh, the park the gas station is coming on uh and i want to show you one thing again my truck wheels are absolutely amazing <laughs> Now let's pull up here and look to my rims. Absolutely amazing. Look at those. For some reason, zoom in does a bunch of work. The only thing it's, it's kind of laggy, but then it works. Really nice. Really, this is also what you should Mercedes. I can't believe. It. And you see. Only thing what doesn't want to work, I don't know is it my mouse, but I don't think so, is that when I want to zoom in with uh, scrolling the mouse, it doesn't really want to work as well. It's some kind of flabbing, lagging and stuff like that. But if you enjoyed this video, then leave me a like, and if you're new to me, then please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!